morning. We honor you this morning, great God. As we come into your awesome presence, we pray, God Almighty, that you will accept our praise, accept our worship, accept our thanksgiving to you. Wash us and make us clean. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, saints of God, clap your hands for victory this morning. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for victory this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. Come on, fill this sanctuary with worship this morning. Fill this sanctuary with praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Your presence is heaven to me. Again, say your presence, say your presence, your presence is heaven to me. Oh God, your presence is heaven to me. Say nothing, nothing, Jesus. 
worship His majesty. Jesus, who died, is now glorified, King of all kings. So exalt, so Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. We just magnify the name of Jesus this morning. Come on, saints of God, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We're going right into the singing of our hymn this morning. Hallelujah at Calvary. Praise the name of Jesus. Years are spent in vanity and pride Caring not my Lord was crucified No
There was great. Grace was free. Pardon. Pardon us. Pardon us. The word pardon. Pardon us. Pardon us. Ponder on that word, my friends. Pardon. You know, the Andros judge, when he pardoned somebody, that person walk out free. Sometimes that person go back and do the same thing. Sometimes that person received the pardon with grace and don't go back. Mercy was there. But God pardoned us from our sin. This morning, I will be our moderator. And I was singing this song, and it sang so sweet. Because I remember 40 and three years ago, like now, in this season, I remember the time I was in a church service. And um, when the pastor and the preacher was preaching, I remember his piercing eyes, because this church was so small. So even if you sit at the back, it looked like you sit at the front. So I remember back in the days when I used to go to Sunday school. So by then, everything started coming back to me. And the next Sunday I have was to go back to church. But before I returned back to Montego Bay, because I just passed through to spend a few weeks with my mother, I got baptized. And my mother gave me three months. My own mother you know, gave me three months because we was young. I was young, young boy. And he used to run up and down, so she gave me three months. She said, wait until three months. And I said, 43 years ago, I'm still here. 43 years ago, I'm still here. So it was God's mercy. His mercy. So I love this song, Mercy. Yeah, it was grace. Great, and grace was free. 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 It was free, my friend, and I received it 43 years ago, and I'm still here. And so, this morning, I just said, all right, let me just run through to share. I like to share a scripture. And Romans 12, 4, 5, it jumped out at me. Verse 4 said, that's Romans 12, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Hmm? So we have been being one, or one in Christ, and everyone members to another. So today, I said, I'm not the preacher, I'm just the moderator. So I'm just gonna moderate today. So don't look on me to preach, I will moderate. Somebody else have that office to preach. Somebody else have the office to do something else. So I'm just the moderator today, that's what I want to say. Thank you very much. As we just do the praise team song, or the, the hymnal, our hymnal 139 at Calvary. So at this time, I'm going to ask the first Delroy on my program here, Gawood, to come and do the opening prayer. And the second Delroy will do the scripture. And then Brother Nakia Campbell, we just switch from the Delroy now to, to Nakia Campbell. He will do the welcome. I will do that in order, please. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Let us pray. Mighty Jehovah, King of kings and lords of lords, we come before your presence this morning. We are glad to know that you are God Almighty. We are glad to know that there is just none like unto you. God Almighty, you said that mercy there was great and grace was free. God, we thank you, God, for the pardon. Oh, God, that was multiplied to us. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you came and you died in our space. God, 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 we worship you for coming and dying for us. We praise you, God Almighty. Mighty, oh Lord Jesus, for what you have done, oh God, for looking at humanity, looking at our sins, and coming down low for us, Jesus. 
We thank you for your mercy, Lord. We thank you for your grace. Oh, God, that is new every morning. And, God, here we are in your presence. Oh, God, a set of people in three water lanes in James. Oh, God, come into your sanctuary to worship you. You know us, God, by name and by number. You know us, God, by our situation. Oh, God, by our affairs. God, you know us by our family. And God, this morning, I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will walk up and down, Lord, in our situation this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus that as we stand before you, God, we will not leave this place, God, the same way we came, but we will leave with a word. God, we will leave with a song. We will leave Almighty God with a blessing from on high. Lord God, come down in this tabernacle this morning. Speak to your people this morning, God. We want a word, Lord Jesus, for the rest of the week. Some of us, we are tired. Some of us, we have issues, God. Some of us, we have problems. Some of us, God, we have sickness and diseases. Lord God, we pray, God Almighty, that you will come down, Jesus, in our situation. We are calling on you, Jesus. We are calling God on you. You said, God, that we should call on you. You said, God, that we should knock and it will be open. You said, God, that you will answer us if we call on you. So we are calling this morning. We are calling this morning. We are calling you in our families. We are calling you in our marriages. We are calling you in our job issues. We are calling you in our sickness and disease. We are calling on you this morning. Daddy Jesus, we call on you this morning. Lord God Almighty, we are looking to you for help. Oh God, no other help do we have. God Almighty, some believe in chariots and horses. Some believe God in the bomb and the holy man. God Almighty, but we believe in Jesus Christ. We believe, hallelujah, that you are God. We believe that you are just none like you. We believe, Lord, that you are able to do abundantly above that which we can ask or think so God we come to you this morning Lord God we ask that you'll do it again we ask God that you will open the windows of heaven and pour out on your people. We pray, Lord, for the moderator. Lord, that you will unctionize him. Lord, you will put words in his mouth. We pray, God Almighty, Lord, for the musicians and the praise team. We pray, Lord, just about everyone, Lord, that will be taking part in this God program this morning we pray lord god that you will speak we pray lord that you'll show up and show off we pray lord specially for the speaker this morning you know her lord i pray lord that you will let us speak with clarity lord 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 we pray for unction and utterance we pray lord that your words will go forth with power in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that souls will be saved. God Almighty, from the speaking of your words today, continue to bless us. Lord God, continue, Lord, to bless those who are online. Lord, they, they have tuned in for a reason and for a purpose. I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit, Lord, and fire will go through the earwaves and fix their situations and their problems. God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will move over us today. In the name of Jesus. Move over us today. Move in three water lane as you have never done God. In the name of Jesus. You promise Lord that you will pour out on your people in the last days. So we are looking to you for your pouring. And we believe it. God and we praise you for it. We thank you for what you have already done. And for what you are about to do. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning to the household of faith. The scripture will be taken from 
St. John 14, 1 to 10. Everybody in the, the sanctuary who are able to stand, please stand. When after Nehemiah finished the wall, building the wall and the scrolls were found with the scripture and it was going to be read, everybody stood without anybody asking them. So please respect the word of God. And I read, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also, and from henceforth you know him, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He, ha he that had seen me had seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Then and last, Believe thou not that I am the Father, and the Father is in me. And the word that I spake unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. Here it ended a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Love, wonderful love. The love of Christ to me. Love, wonderful love. So rich, so full, so free. Wide, wide as the ocean. Deep, deep as the sea. High, high as the heavens above is love towards me. This morning, if you can recognize with the love of God, if God has done something wonderful for you, if you have experienced his mercy, his grace, his favor, his blessing, I want you to stand on your feet this morning and I want you to give God the highest praise that you can find this morning. Hallelujah! 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 Glory to God. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, where would you be? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever hallelujah 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 glory to God isn't he a wonderful God isn't he a great God isn't he your provider this morning isn't he your way maker this morning? Hallelujah. We come to worship him. And so we acknowledge his presence this morning. And we continue to give him praise and glory and honor throughout this service. He's the reason why we're here. 
this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to welcome our first time visitors this morning. You are here. You have given your name. And I will be calling those names this morning. Let me first acknowledge and welcome our first time visitor, Sharon Malcolm. Sharon Malcolm. Please stand. Okay. All right. Please hold the applause. I also want to welcome our first time visitor, the Klassen family from Germany. You can stand. Yes, wonderful. Please hold the applause. I want to say to us in the house this morning, if you're here for the first time, second time or third time worshiping with us, can you stand to be acknowledged? You're visiting with us for the very first time. Can you stand? Yes, your name was not given. All right, we have a sister at the back there. All right. If you're worshiping with us on YouTube and listening on More FM, I know that there is an active chat going on. You can just put an emoji there just for us to acknowledge you as being a first time onliner listening on YouTube and tuning in on More FM. We welcome you. And so this morning, we have members who were away and they're back with us. We have Sister Cheryl Jackson Taylor and daughter from the US. Sherry, Cherry Jackson, yes, thank you. We have Sister Marva Jarrett. Praise the Lord. Sister Pearl Headley. Praise the Lord. We also have Sister Leonie Samuels. Praise the Lord. She's at the front here. My brothers and sisters, can we put our hands together and give them a wonderful Montego Bay tree in welcome this morning and so I acknowledge this morning for those who don't know our esteemed bishop I acknowledge our own bishop Will Robinson this morning praise the Lord I acknowledge his beautiful wife sitting beside him, complimenting the color. <laughs> Sister Ruth Robinson, our church and pastor's council sitting behind me. Praise the Lord for them. And so on behalf of our bishop, the Bishop Rural Robinson, I welcome you all this morning into our Father's house. I pray today that you have a wonderful day, a blessed day, and that your day will never be the same as you worship with us today. I must say to you that today is Men's Sunday, and I want to specially recognize all the men that is in the house this morning. Can you stand to be acknowledged? All the men in the house, stand. Hallelujah. 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 And as we normally do at Men's Fellowship, there is something when a man shout hallelujah. I want all the men that is in the house this morning to shout a hallelujah. Shout, if you're a man and you're standing and you're in the house, shout a hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. hallelujah. 
if you have not been coming to Men's Fellowship, I take this opportunity to invite you to our Men's Fellowship held every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. You will have a wonderful evening. Come out and support the Men's Fellowship. Thank you all. And so, today is a wonderful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. And so as we go around fellowshipping today, shaking the hands of those who are visiting with us for the very first time, there's a song that is on my heart and I want to share with you today. I love the thrill that I feel when we get together with God's wonderful people. And so I ask the praise team to come. And as we sing that song, let us just greet our neighbors, the person sitting beside us, in Jesus' name. Share a kind word. Hallelujah. Give a smile. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. Praise team. I love the thrill that we feel when we get together with God's wonderful people. I love the thrill that we feel when we get together with God's wonderful people. It's so nice to see those happy faces raising God in the heavenly places. I love the thrill that we feel when we get together with God's wonderful people. Oh, I keep falling in love. Over and over and over and over again So I, I wouldn't touch it at all. And Brother Lawrence and Brother Garwood, they did the scripture. And now we are on the next page again. So we are going to ask the person to come with the announcement. And after the announcement, we'll do the decoration of faith. So we're going to listen to the announcement right now. Greetings to God's wonderful people.
These are the notices for Sunday, March 17, 2024. We ask you kindly to make notes where applicable. Greetings come to us from Brother Jordan James in Canada. He also sends congratulations to the children on being victorious in the Bible quiz competition. Sister Kasmin Gale, Reverend Daniel, and Sister Rena Samuels, along with Sister Isilda Ailes, send greetings for the church family. Departure. Sister Brittany Ann Brown will be relocated to Bermuda as a U.S. tax professional. She is scheduled to leave the island on March 30. She craves the prayers of the church as she starts this new chapter of her life. Congratulations. The Discipleship and Converts Care Department congratulates all mentors who were awarded their Level 1 Certificate of Completion in the Mentorship Program and the mentees who were awarded their Certificate of Completion of the Mentorship Program. Sister Bianca Beckford, U.S., has been recognized by Delta Airlines as being most helpful, awesome, and hardworking. Thank you. Sister Beverly Bonick and family express heartfelt gratitude to Bishop Ruel Robinson and the entire church family for the love and support they received during their time of bereavement. Couples Ministry Verse of the Month comes to us from Ecclesiastics 4, verse 11. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat, but how can one be warm alone? Celebrations! Celebrating your birthday this week? Please stand. Happy birthday to you. This is your day. From this day forward, don't you stop having fun. This is your day. Happy birthday to you. Celebrating your wedding anniversary this week? Please stand. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. On behalf of Bishop Ruel Robinson and the entire church family, we wish you a great day. To our viewers and listeners who are celebrating, stay blessed and enjoy your day. Mass Choir Practice will be held this Monday and Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Bishop Royal Robinson will be ministering at Birchell Baptist Church on Monday, March 18 at 6 p.m. Members are encouraged to attend and give support. Family Training Hour presents Balancing Job, Family, and Church on Monday, March 18 at 6 p.m. Special presenter, Deacon Garvin Atkinson. All are invited. Girls Ministry presents Biblical Modesty, Part 2, Monday, March 18 at 4.30 p.m. with our very own Sister Davio Henry, from head to feet, you can dress modestly and still look neat. Come, make we show you how to do it. Children Choir Practice is held on Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m. and Saturdays at 1 p.m. The Montego Bay and St. James Life Builders Men's Ministry invites all married men to a power and knowledge seminar under the theme married men have struggles too on thursday march 28 5 30 p.m at the montego bay new testament church hall guest presenter reverend 
Alton Thelwell. Married men, you cannot afford to miss this special session. Yes, Montego Bay New Testament Church of God presents the Big Good Friday Concert. Coming to you on March 29, featuring O'Shane Mays, Chandra Cohen, Yvonne Cohen, Shabak Yeshua, the one in the middle will save me. Jai Kingston and more at Three Water Lane, Montego Bay. Starting at 6 p.m., admission adults pre sold $2,000, 2500 at the gate. Children under 12, 1000 at the gate. Tickets available at the church. Lifting up the name of Jesus. It promises to be great. The Rose Heights, Rosemount, and Farm Heights Cluster presents an evening of excellence prayer banquet under the theme anchored not easily shaken on monday april 1st at 3 p.m it's an all-white affair at the montego bay new testament church hall special presenter sister raquel philburn page the cost per ticket is five thousand dollars you cannot afford to miss it you may contact Sister Charmaine Williams and her team for tickets. Harvest Sunday Thanksgiving service will be held on Sunday, April 7. Harvest envelopes will be issued next Sunday. The Landila New Testament Church of God Crusade commences this evening until Sunday, March 31, under the theme, Winning the Loss at Any Cost. Norwood New Testament Church of God will be having their weekend crusade under the theme Jailbreak from Friday, March 22 to Sunday, March 24 at 6.30 p.m. nightly. All are invited to join Norwood under the Big White Gospel Tent. Church of the Open Bible Unity Hall will be hosting a tent crusade from Sunday March 24 to Sunday, April 7, on the grounds of Dream Palace Restaurant, Reading. Our combined choir and praise and worship ministries are invited to minister on Tuesday, March 26. Bethel Bible College is accepting applications for the 2024 to 2025 academic year. Persons who are interested may contact Bethel at 876-962-0869 or 876-962-8841 or email admissions at bbcc.edu.jm Rallies The Flanker New Testament Church of God Rally will be held on Tuesday, April 9 at 7 p.m. Contribution, adults $300 and children $100. The Norwood New Testament Church of God Ladies Ministry presents their first Ladies Rally 2024 under the theme, A Rise in Worship, under the Big Gospel Tent on Tuesday, April 30 at 6 30 p.m contribution adults three hundred dollars and children one hundred dollars bereavement we regret to announce the passing of sister ioni barton the thanksgiving service will be announced in subsequent notices let us observe a moment of silence in her honor May her soul rest in peace and light perpetual shine upon her. The granddaughter of brother and sister Denval Ellis has also passed. The Thanksgiving service for Sister Edlit Davis will be held here on Saturday, March 23 at 10 a.m. Intermed follows in Dovecot of St. James. 
We continue to pray for our members and friends who have lost loved ones and show support in our usual way. Blessings for the week. No matter what you are going to face this week, you're not going to face it alone. God is with you. He is in you and he is for you. Thank you for listening. Have a God-blessed day and a God-blessed week. Nago let don't Jesus know. 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 No dilly dally no. Hold up, hold up, honey. I'm make you so extra happy today. Honey, me buy me ticket. You buy the Good Friday concert ticket. Yes. For the family. Yes. The concert. We're going to have on March 29th. Yes. You are the best. But then, let me see it now. See it here. I'm a pay for it, little, little. You pay for it, little, little. Yes. You are the best. Look here. Upon this, he said, you're going to have not only one guest artist, you know. But two. two. And you just sang, um, um, you know which one you sing a while ago? Nagulit, don't Jesus, Jahid. Kingston. I tell you, in yes. the arms of sweet deliverance, I'm going to lay my... Cut, man, cut, cut, cut. I didn't mean to tell you, you're the best. Can't afford to yes. miss. And you're going to have O'Shea and me as you just sing O'Shea and me song. Yes. And look here, me here say... Them are going to have local artists. That means people will come from the same church. What a lean New Testament. Yes, Danny Sims. Aye. Ivan Cohen. Aye. I have one group when they have spiritual melodies. Yes. Look here, the lineup are going to be great. To you miss know? is to? This. You have Sandra Cohen to win up. Yes. And guess what, honey? May I tell you? May I tell it's going to be a day to remember. A day to remember an you, evening look here, to tell remember. Me, tell me a little more. Because I know you pay $2,000 for the adult. Early thing. bird ticket. Yeah, may I tell that the pre sold ticket. The pre sold ticket. You know? So guess what now? You now wait till you reach a gate. Because me yes. want to save the $500. We going to buy what? Food. Food, yeah, man. If you go to us. Food. Food Jerk chicken Yes Soup, Soup. Pastor say manish water Manish water Fish, Fish. You can't forget the pea Pork. Pork Yes Oh Lord Boy. May I tell you enough They look forward you know Hey you see me there clean me shoes forward here May I tell you say me I go go there you know And me I go move to the left And me I go move to the right so guess what? Me have to go wear something comfortable. Very comfortable. Hey, me need some more information now because you see me near by them. They have to know. You can get tickets from the church's office. Yes. You can get ticket from the committee members. I wonder yes. if they are here I want today. The committee members. See a man, see them. They are. They are waving all over the place. Yes, you can get tickets. So me near, but need to know. Say they now go stay I, warm. Also the ushers. Yes. Near them need to know. And then I go stay at home because you now go show up on the line. It will not be on the line. No, sir. So me, right after this, we are going to tell them to come and go buy them ticket. Yes, so they can have the extra $500. Because me not give them none of my money, you know. Oh. You know. Oh. To miss is to? This. Yeah, man, sing one of them little songs, them man. Now go let down Jesus know. Now yeah, go let yes. down Jesus know. Yes. Now go let down Jesus know. Now nah, go let down Jesus. No anki panki no G.I. Joe. Now go let down Jesus. No rockin' dali, no bend down low. Now nah, go let down. Oh, in the arms of sweet deliverance, I'm gonna lay my heavy burden down. That is Good Friday, this Good Friday, this year Good Friday, the 29th of March. The, the best month in the year. 29th of March, the best month in the year. 
Good. So please don't be late. Ushers have ticket. I have ticket. The moderator have ticket, you know? Yes, me have ticket and the ushers them have ticket. So you can't miss. All right. Now, turn to the back of your program. If you don't have none today, you must have an old program or you must can recite it by now. We have been doing this, this over and over for years now to decoration of faith. So we're going to believe in, look in what the New Testament Church of God believe in. So we're going to stand and we're going to do this together. Are we ready? One, two, three. We believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible, in one God eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost, and born of the Virgin Mary that Jesus was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead, that he ascended of God for all and necessary for all, that justification, regeneration, and the new birth are wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ, in justification subsequent to the new birth, through faith in the blood of Christ, through the word and by the Holy Ghost. Holiness to be God's standard of living for his people. In the baptism with the Holy Ghost, subsequent to a clean heart. In speaking with other tongues, as the Spirit give utterance. And that is the initial evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In water baptism by immersion. And all who repent should be baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Divine healing is provided for all in the atonement, in the Lord's Supper and washing of the saints' feet, in the pre benignal second coming of Christ, first to resurrect the righteous dead, and to catch away the living saints to him in the air, second to reign on earth a thousand years in the body resurrection, eternal life for the righteous, and eternal punishment for the wicked. This is the New Testament Church of God believe. That is what we believe in. And if we live by it, practice it and live by it, we are on, we are on our way to eternal life. At this time, my colleagues, ushers down there, they will wait on you for your tithes and offering. And I must advise, um, many times when I'm passing around, people say, drop this to me. We don't drop tithes and offering, my friends. We worship with tithes and offering. We give freely. At some denominations, they, they, they use it as a free will give, as a free will after you. So please give it freely. Don't drop it. Just pass it on to the ushers, and we will find the best use possible for it. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is my keeper. God
you we thank you that you have given to us and because you have given to us oh God we have to give to your kingdom to the service of your kingdom here on earth we thank you oh God for your blessings upon us we thank you for pouring into us we do not give because we have a promise that we will get back but we give because you have given and out of the abundance 
that you have given us, we give back to you, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that what we have collected will be used for the furtherance of your kingdom. Bless those who have given. Bless those who didn't have to give, O oh God, and continue to be with us as we continue to give to you our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. My brethren and my friends, thus far we have, do, we have been doing good. We have been worshiping God. But I sit there and I just remember, I love to read story. I remember a story that I read on the social media a few days ago or a few weeks ago. It was a story about a faithful dog. And the lady leave her child with the dog because the dog was a faithful dog. But somehow, the, um, an animal creep inside, and the dog fought off the animal, fight the animal. And so when the lady opened the door and come in, the lady saw the dog with the blood all over. And the dog was licking himself. And the lady didn't see the baby. So the lady get the club and hammer the dog, kill the dog. After the lady killed the dog, she started looking for the baby. The lady found the baby underneath the bed, safe and asleep. And when the lady looked, the dog already dead. I'm just saying to us, when we come to any event, take what we have. Don't kill nobody until when you, when you get to the end of the service. Because what? You might just kill yourself. So please, at this time is our bishop time. Worthy bishop. He will come with the pastoral prayer and pastoral comment. Bishop Robinson. Sometimes it takes a mountain Ooh. Sometimes the trouble sea Sometimes it takes a desert To get Yeah, you know. 
person in this room. God has certainly been good to us. You may be seated. I just want to just recognize every single one who have made it possible to be in church today. I recognize um, the pastor, Reverend Ruel Robinson. I recognize our um, officers. Oh, they are seated right on my right and, uh, and they're looking so, so good. Our church and pastors council. I just want to recognize them and to tell them that they continue to do the good work they are doing. And uh, just to tell you that God has been good or our first time visitors or visitors or members and friends just about every single person who have made it possible to win, be here today, those who are online, God bless you. I stand to take 
the, the shoe of Reverend Robinson, but he just slipped in, and so guess what? I was going to slip out and give him the chance to do what he has to do. I am so thankful that I got this opportunity. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Reverend Robinson. Put your hands together for Sister Ram. <laughs> Praise God. I never meant to be late. Um, I went to look for the children in children's church. But the love was overwhelming. And they are just a bundle of love and joy. Amen. I had to run away from them to get back to you. Praise God. Let me greet everyone in the name of Jesus. Thank God for Sister Rob who covered me while I was out. And we move on in the name of the Lord. I'm tremendously happy to see the visitors all across this audience. First time visitors and uh, second time as well. Deacon Campbell has done a marvelous job. I don't want to reinvent the wheels, but we are happy to see every visitor, happy to see every returning member. Amen. We are happy, so happy to see you. Sister Leone, amen, in the house. Amen. We are happy. She will be around for a little while, so you will hear more from her in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I just want everyone to know that priority attention is given to the notices that was given earlier on. Um, while some persons are returning, others are leaving. Sister Peku will be leaving us back to yonder land and we will continue to pray for her. We want to Remind the house that all those persons who have not secured your ticket for the concert on Good Friday night and also the banquet ticket on Easter Monday evening, you need to do so. Please, it is very, very important. Uh, Montego Bay is a package. Anything you want, you can get it here. Um, and quality potential, ability, um, and knowledge is here. You won't miss anything. Please do that in the name of the Lord. I also place in that slot Lord's Supper and feet washing on good on Easter Sunday evening, sandwiching the, the concert and the, um, the banquet. Everybody Amen. If you have your white, get it ready to come out. If you don't have, get. If you don't have any time, come with what you have. Amen. And let's commemorate the Lord's death. Amen. With supper and feet washing. And the, the, the committee responsible for that, get going. I'm expecting a full house. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Last but not least, my beloved brethren, the men, the men have come up with a brilliant idea to speak to the married men, all the married men. I spoke in the earlier service, every church sister or adherent, you are married. Make sure you take out your husband clothes and, and um, fix it up, prepare it, and send him over here to us. I said that if, if you send them to us, you will reap the reward. I want Sister Rob, get my clothes out. All right. Uh, amen. 
Amen. Is that amen? Am I leading by example? Okay. And let us, let us enjoy ourselves. Brother Peter King, you are welcome to be with us. I don't know what the Lord has in store, but... <laughs> Amen. So please, my beloved brethren, I support the ladies with their program and uh, I am supporting the brothers with their program. Amen. Save or unsave husband, send them to us on that date and let us talk as men. Are you there? Praise the Lord. So, bear that in mind, after, after the preacher, I'll pray for the sick and the suffering and to Okay. Okay. There's a group of 10 out of England. 12? Yes, that came in out of England. Where are they? Where are they? I was out. Could you stand? The wave Anne alone won't. Wow. Come on, man. Do we have a past among this group? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Put your hands together for pastor. All right. I'll get the necessary information, but we are so happy to have your pastor and group all the way out of England worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness as we continue to draw from the Lord as he continue to minister to us. God bless you. God bless you. At this time, we'll sit back and listen to the men of Bala choir. And after the choir is through singing, the next voice we'll, you'll hear is the voice of our speaker this morning, none other than Sister Arthurine Duhaney Arthur. Uh, one of my boss. A deaconess. For many years, she has been with the with the youths. Um, I'm thinking now in my back of my head that she's stepping up from the youths now. She's a deaconess now, but she is a youth at heart. So she has the youth them with her at heart. So she'll be speaking as soon as the choir choose singing. So as the choir finish singing, please, I want you to stand and give her. A round of applause, please. Thank you very much, choir.
my name, my love for you is still the same. Go ahead and bury me, but very soon I will. But you will see that you were wrong. Go ahead, try to hide the sun, but all will see that I. Hallelujah. He rose from the dead. And we can sing this morning, he will come to take his people back. I invite you to be seated. I want to greet my brothers and sisters here this morning. Visiting friends, new converts, their seats are empty this morning, but I'm sure there might be one or two among us. Our online worshipers, more FM listeners, I want to greet my brothers and sisters sitting in the sanctuary this morning. 
If you are happy to be in the house of the Lord, anticipating a blessing this morning, just give God some praise. Again, it is my esteemed priv privilege to be here and, as I always say, to greet my very brave pastor. <laughs> I speak of Reverend Ruel Robinson, and I, I want to acknowledge Lady Robinson, his support team, a very diligent, dedicated woman of God who continues to support her husband along with Oriel and Olivia. <laughs> to my fellow officers who pastor has tasked to do additional work this month and so I am the person caught in the ticket today to deliver the word. But I know my brothers and sisters are praying. Before I invite one of my colleagues, Sister Young, to pray, I must acknowledge a very dear friend and neighbor we grew together at Rosemount. Sister Cherry Jackson Taylor, can I have her to stand? And her daughter. If you remember them, you know Cherry is a singer. And I wish I had the opportunity this morning to have her sing. But her family was the family, the Jackson's family, that invited me to church so many, many, many years ago. And it was... Yes, acknowledge them, please. It was a family who took my sister Pat and I to church, and we would travel with them every day and every night until we were of age to travel on our own. It was in June 20, no, it was June 30, I think it was, 1974, a Sunday morning, that I gave my heart to the Lord and was baptized in water. So many years ago, and the Lord has kept me. And this morning, I want to remind us as Christians that though the battle may be hot, though we have struggles and trials, God can keep us. I invite this time Sister Mitzian Young can we all stand for prayer? Hallelujah. 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 Father, I stretch my hands to you this morning. No other help we know. If thou wouldest draw yourself from us, Lord, where else can we go? Hallelujah. I bring your servant before you right now, God. She stand as your child in need, hallelujah, of your anointing. I pray right now, Heavenly Father, that as she stands before you, God, she submit and surrender herself, her mind, her spirit, her body into your hands right now. I pray, God, that you will pour out your anointing upon her right now. I pray for a fresh anointing, God. I pray that your presence, not only your power, but your presence will be with her, God. And as she execute the word, hallelujah, it comes forth, hallelujah, with power and with clarity. I present her, I present her, hallelujah, the entire congregation that our hearts and our ears will be open to listen, hallelujah, and to receive your words in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Today I want to share with you a message that has echoed over the ages, a message that continues to resonate in our hearts and stand as an unchanging fruit. I want to present to you this morning that Jesus is the ultimate answer. Jesus is the answer. He is the ultimate answer to our world today. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Radio Land, those on YouTube and to my audience, Jesus is the answer. And that's the only thing we want to present to you today. The scripture was already read from St. John's 4. And I want to emphasize verse 6. Jesus said unto them, unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. No one. So in midst of life's challenges, uncertainties, and questions, in midst of the doubts, the problems, the struggles that we may face, the illnesses, in midst of life's burdens, sickness, stress, we find grace and comfort. We find hope and certainty in the man of Christ Jesus. Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. In the beginning, and from the beginning of time, humanity has sought many meanings, many purposes, many solutions to life's complex issues. We try to find answer in everything around us, in man, in woman, in our dear children, we find comfort in work, in earthly possessions, fancy homes and cars. We even find comfort in illegal activities, but we have still been found wanting. We can try everything and everything will fail until we try Jesus. We can explore various avenues, seeking fulfillment in the possessions and the successes that we have, in the wonderful relationship that we have with our spouse, our children, in our education. However, the emphasis must be placed on the fact that unless we, you and I, encounter the man who stills the water, the man who embodies everything that we do, the man who calms the sea, the man who heals the brokenhearted, the man who heals the woman with the issue of blood, the man who raised Lazarus from the dead. The man who allowed Peter to walk on water. You will not find the answer until you trust and believe in Jesus Christ. We have been broken many times. Many, many times. Not too long ago, Sister Julian was here, and she was expressing how everything just started to turn around negatively once she was asked to minister. And I, you know, just was pondering to myself and said, I am experiencing the same experiences Sister spoke about. But as children of God, we have to press towards the mark of the higher calling. We have to know what our purpose is. And we have to fulfill that purpose that God has in store for us. As soon as the enemy 
sees that we can be useful in the kingdom of God, that is when he pushes up his head to try to deter us. Let us look at brokenness. We have been broken so many times. Most things around us seems broken. We look around. We witness the brokenness in our world, in the country. You have seen what's happening. In our governments, you have seen it. You have seen broken hearts. So many families are turning against each other. So many broken relationships. We wonder if marriage is still secret. And brokenness is everywhere. We are in despair. But God, who is the answer, can repair our brokenness today. He is the answer who can fix our situations. He is the answer to this world today. It's a brokenness of the world that has caused us to be where we are. But as Christians, we are not worried. We are not troubled on any hand. Because we know the man. We know the man that stills the water. We know the man. We know the man that we can go to in the midnight hour. We know the man who answers in time. And we are saying, whatever your brokenness is today, Jesus Christ is the ultimate answer. Whatever is broken in your life, he can mend your broken heart. He can mend whatever the situation is. There's nothing that is too hard for God. Yes, I know that man who has kept me for 49 years. His name is Jesus. He is the answer. Are you burdened down today? Yes, Pastor. Are you burdened down today? Well, I need to tell you this. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. You are at the right place. At the right time, at the right church, for God to lift those broken heartedness. We have a problem with sin. It is the core problem to brokenness. Sin separates us from God. Yes, God, in his infinite love, sent Jesus who is the ultimate answer to sin? It doesn't matter how far we have been. We have drifted away from God. I know the only person who can wash away your sin. Hallelujah. I know the only person who can wash away your sin and allow it to be gone forever. I know the person who can wash away your sins and leave you clean, whiter than snow. Though his death on the cross and his resurrection, Jesus provided the way for us to be reconciled with God the Father. And we are here today, and the Father is also here. Hallelujah. No amount of self-help our self-worldliness, no wisdom, no human perfections, no kind-heartedness, no perfect family, Sister Byfield, no perfect structure, your wealth, your family background, your position, your popularity cannot cleanse us 
from sin but the blood of Jesus. I say to us today, we have that man in Christ Jesus who is the ultimate answer. And he will wash away our sins. The good thing is that we don't have to slay any lamb anymore. We have an advocate with God the Father, and he is right here. One songwriter says, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Can we take away anything from our sins but only the blood of Jesus who will come in and cleanse us? We cannot. Oh, yes. The Lord's arms are open today, my brothers and sisters, and he's ready to receive us home. So many of us are here, and we come Sunday after Sunday. But are we ready? My visiting friends and unsaved friends, you're at the right place today because whatever you're looking for, you can find it in King Jesus. There is room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, you and I, millions have come, there is still room for all. There is room at the cross today. My brothers and sisters, let us not give up. Let us not lose hope or faith. You serve an on-time God that will, that will that will come through for us. It does not matter how far we are from sin. God is here and is here to redeem us. Jesus is the answer to fear and anxiety. And many of us have that. We may not admit it, but we do. In this world full of fear and anxiety, Jesus stands as our refuge and strength because he is my refuge today. He is my strength today. He is our present help in the time of trouble. His word echoes, come unto me. All who are and, and he will give us rest. Matthew 11 verses 28. As we face the storms of life, Jesus is our anchor and he is our rescue. Jesus is the answer to the purpose and fulfillment in our lives also. Many are searching for purpose. Many are searching for relationships. Jesus said in his teachings, I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, pastor, no man, no girl, no boy, nobody comes to God, to the Father, but by him. When we surrender to our Heavenly Father, you will discover your purpose. And today, as Christians and as children of God, we need to find out from the Lord what is my purpose? 
There are too many brokenness, too many persons that have not yet surrendered to the Lord. The harvest field is ripened. Laborers are few. It is not okay. It is not cool. It's not fine for you to just get saved and come and sit in the house of the Lord. There is work to do. And pastor will tell you that as much as we have a large congregation, it's still only a handful of persons who are willing to work. What is your purpose in the kingdom of the Lord? Are you fulfilling the purpose? If you are not, we encourage you this morning to find your purpose and start working in the vineyard of the Lord. Jesus is the ultimate answer. And so he, is, he gives the transformation for power. As we cele celebrate the transformation power of Jesus, we want to encounter him in our lives, in the way we change our lives so that others can see us because it's by our fruits. We shall know that you're a child of God. So what about those fruits of the spirits that we should be seen manifesting in our lives, in the lives around us? How many persons at work know that you are a Christian? How, does your neighbor know? Does the person that you rent from know? Does your children know? Know and see Christ through you. We're not worrying about them because we ask the Lord to keep them, hover over them until they return to the truth. But do they see the life that you want them to get into in your life? When we encounter Jesus Christ, our lives will change. We are no longer a slave to sin, to fear, to hopelessness. We instead belong to Jesus as new creations, empowered by the Holy Spirit, and we live victorious lives. Lives that persons cannot fathom. They don't understand. They see you in your struggles and in your trials. And they never understand how you have a smile. How you are victorious. How the Lord keeps opening ways and doors for you. I encourage us as we stand and answer the call of Jesus. The call that Jesus is the ultimate answer to our problems. That you stand in Jesus. And when your ship begins to rock. You can only be in danger when you hop out of that ship. But if you stay steadfast. The Lord will come through for you. I did not say the Lord may come through. Hallelujah. Do you have a testimony this morning? Hallelujah. Has the Lord ever come through for you? I think I would hear the saints shouting this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord has brought us through so many things. Some of them we have to speak in private. We cannot speak out everything but the Lord. We are introducing you to a man who can take care of every situation. Hallelujah. 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 
Aleluia. Aleluia. Aleluia, aleluia. 2 Corinthians 15, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 reminds us, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Are you a new creature this morning? Because all things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. I am a new creation this morning. Hallelujah. Not for whose last name I have. Not for where I was born. Not for my career. I'm a new creation this morning only because of the blood of Jesus. I am born, I'm a brand new man. All things that I used to do, Sister Cherry, I do them no more. Hallelujah. 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 The idle jesting, I do them no more. Sometimes persons ask, why are you not saying anything, Anne-Marie? I speak less and listen more. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All things are passed away. I'm born again. As we look forward for the transformation of the Holy Spirit and for us to bear new fruits, I encourage us, hallelujah, to stand fast in the liberty in which Christ has made us free. Let us not be entangled again in the yoke of bondage. Let us do away with earthly things. Hallelujah. Let us drop the burden from our backs. Hallelujah. Because we have someone who is already assigned to take care of our burdens. Let us embrace the truth that Jesus is the answer that he is the ultimate answer to every question, to every situation, to every problem. He will fulfill our longingness, our loneliness, our job situations. As we draw to him, may his grace, may his love, May his wisdom, may his peace, hallelujah, that passes all understanding, guide us in the journey of faith and the truth. Let us embrace the truth that Jesus Christ is the answer to our situation. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Reminds us that we should rest, we have rest and comfort in Jesus. Come unto him, he that labor and are heavy burden, and he will give us rest. He said, take my yoke upon and learn of me, for your yoke is easy. And the burden is light. Today, I say to us, don't second guess. Don't stop and wonder. I say to you that you should choose Jesus Christ. That you should come unto him, not tomorrow, right now. We are here. The Savior is here. And he has his arms wide open. Whether you are a believer or whether you are an unsaved, you can find rest today in the arms of Jesus. Romans 6.23 reminds us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And we want to present to you eternal life today. Today I encourage us 
to choose Jesus, who is the ultimate answer to our problems. May the peace of Christ, may the love of God be with us all as we choose Jesus as our ultimate answer to world's problem. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift those hands and worship him. Mm. Lay down the burden of I know you'll never miss me. Why won't you show the Father where Come with me, man. Come with me. And let your father fix it. Everybody lay down the burden of your heart. I know. You do that one more time. Lay down the burdens of your heart. I know you never miss me. Why won't you show the Father where it is? Oh, and let your Father. Somebody worship him. Come on, worshipers. Come on, worship. Hallelujah. What a word in time. What a word on time. We give God thanks for his handmaid who availed herself to be an instrument, a conduit through whom God's power to whom God's word can pass to us. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Archer. It is not the last you will be standing around this pulpit. You are opening yourself more and more to be used of God. Hallelujah. While well, I'm interested to send you home early, is there somebody today with a burden? You are here with a problem. You want God to do something special for you. You may be a stranger. You may be a visitor. You may be a homester. Even a member. With the word spoken today. The, the, the altar is the best place for you. Could you start coming now? You may be an unsaved. I want you to come and join us. Praise team. And let it be sweet as other times. Hallelujah. Lay down the burdens of your heart. Oh, I know you don't be afraid to come and stand. Oh, I want you show the Father where it Oh, and let your Father. Don't be bashful. Feel free to walk to an altar prayer. For mystery, why won't you show the Father where it and let your Father fix me. 
as a little boy in church. Amen. There is an old song that is always sung. Kneel at the cross. Leave every care. Could you help me one or two times? Hallelujah. Kneel at the cross. Stand with me, church. Leave every care. Kneel at the cross. Oh, Jesus, will meet you there. Oh, why won't you kneel? Jesus will meet you there. Oh, why won't you kneel at the cross? At the cross, holy. Can I hear the church? Every day. Oh, kneel. Oh, at the cross. With me do there. Why won't you need just about whisper at the cross at the cross leave every care at the cross. church to stretch your hands towards these. Hallelujah. I believe in God Almighty that he has the power to deliver his children. The chains, the graves that hold his children down, there is enough power to set you free. Whatever it is, the blood hallelujah come on now could you open your mouth and help me pray for them there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein and sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilty stain Lord your word tells us we must pray one for another because the effectual prayer of the godly availed much. Today your daughter has ministered from her soul. Opening up God the way that we can come and cry to you. We can lay down our burdens at the foot of the cross. Lord, we can cry aloud for help. We can lift our hands to you, Lord, and welcome you in our troubled life, our sick bodies, our troubled marriages. Oh, God, the family circle, oh, God, that has become a battlefield. We have come in the name of Jesus. Father, you said, none that cometh unto you, you will in no wise cast out. Lord, we must cast all our burdens upon you because you care it for us. Father, I pray for the mother that is standing for a child. I pray for the father that is standing for a child. I pray for others that is standing for a relative. Lord, trouble is looming. 
Lord, sickness, oh God, has taken over the body of loved ones and even ourselves. But in the name of Jesus, the devil's voice is speaking. Lord, there are those who are hearing voices. Lord, there are those whom the devil himself wants to destroy. But God, in the name of Jesus, we stand upon your word. We stand upon your name. We stand on the blood of Jesus for the victory of your people. I, I, I Lord, I, I cut every chain loose. I tear down every closed doors, every prison gate, God, every grave that is sealed and signed against your children. I fly them open and I set your people free to worship you, free to lift up your name, free to adore you. In the name of Jesus, you line devil you will not prevail the blood of Jesus prevail I, I lose somebody today I set somebody free by the atoning blood of Jesus the young the middle aged the senior the afflicted the cast down the outcast Satan take your rusty dirty unsanctified hands of God's children we plead the blood somebody help me shout the blood come on Zion shout the blood Come on, shout it with assurance. Shout it with conviction. Hey, Lord, Lord, Lord. We plead the blood. What other powers can do? The blood of Jesus can. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every sick and afflicted, uh, I curse that chance. Ah, uh, God, uh, that lump be gone, uh, that cough be gone, uh, that headache be gone, uh, migraine, uh, poor blood circulation, uh, enlargement of half heart. Uh, Oh God, long the infection, kidney infection, oh Lord, intestinal issues, I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, prostate be healed. Be healed. Oh, somebody worship the oh Lord. Be healed. For those who are under demonic attack, strange sound, funny feeling, dizzy spell, oh God, voices, unknown voices, disturbance at night, falling angel that wants to have your way with God's daughter. I send you back to the abyss of hell. Be, 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 be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Marriage, marriage, marriage. That is on shaky ground. On sandy ground. I place you on the rock of Jesus Christ today. Oh God. The bills to be paid. The creditors are coming. Lord God, open door. Oh God, somebody raise your hand with me. Lord, I declare a financial blessing upon your people. Upon every worship right now in the name of Jesus. The unfinished house shall be completed. Take some people out of rent house you said we shall have houses we never build 
vineyards we never cultivate land we never bought those are your words almighty God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on now if you're a parent or grandparent or godparent raise up your hand for your child Lord from the youngest to the oldest father come on I'll call your children name father you have laid this method on my heart to intercede for our children children are your blessing children are your heritage but Lord the devil want to destroy our children as we call our children grandchildren got children name right now I pray that you will search them out find out where they are give them another nudge bless them any curse come on raise that on any curse or destruction that has taken them are about to take them the church the church the church the church the church remove it Lord you have given us the authority to move and to destroy bless our children bless my children bless my God children oh God bless every man's child in the name of Jesus if there is any in trouble deliver them if there is any behind bars set them free if there is any hungry feed them oh God if there is any unemployed grant uh, employment now oh God there are those across the waters some are not straight they are waiting on approval but God from three water lane I release it come on now I release their documentation green card landed card in England Canada America other states European state Lord whatsoever it is the earth is the Lord's the earth belongs to you God and your children's children are spread across the world they need you now they need you now they need you now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray for every online worshiper right now Lord the list is long brother Boyne and family Zenodia Frey Evan James Shelton uh, Juna and family Francis Williams uh, Venetia Dorothy Cassandra Mikhail Williams and family Crystal Stewart uh, Lord God uh, need to return to the fold Blossom Dixon uh, O'Shea Morgan and family Lord God uh, Nelly and her newborn uh, Sophia Morgan uh, Stacy Morgan, Thelma J, Jermaine Jobs, oh God, Henry Samuel, Chris and Novlet, Palmer's family, oh God, in Connecticut and otherwise, Dave Reed and family, Eline, Eline, Estelina Palmer and family, Chandre, oh God, Pep exam coming up, Colleen Watson. Palmer and family, precious chancer, grandmother, Lord, her slated for surgery. I pray that you will touch her body and touch the surgeon, the party foot, sister party foot in the hospital. Can you visit her? Marlon Blake, hospital touch, Barbara Herman, oh God, healing and a touch. Ashoy, Pharaoh, Lord God, from your hand, Akeem Williams, Doreen Saman, granddaughter in hospital, Jennifer Myers, I pray for them now, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you will touch right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus father I pray for every visitor today will you just bless them the group from Hansworth Birmingham oh God can you touch this delegation you know the duration of their stay let it be incident free in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Reverend Marvelia McLean, who leads this pack, I pray that you will touch her, guide him. Remember the host pastor back in Hansworth. Lord, will you touch him and his family? Lord, every other visitor, you know them by name, you know them by number. I ask you to touch them now. Answer their prayer problem fix their business save their soul turn the powers of hell upside down and give them victory we give you thanks we thank you for your servant touch her again come on point your hand to her touch her again lord touch her again touch her husband touch her boys touch her household in the name of jesus touch the moderator Touch the choir, touch the singers, touch the members, touch, oh God, the children, touch the online worshipers, touch our seniors, the indigent, breathe upon them, hallelujah, save the unsaved, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Somebody worship the Lord. Right now, raise your hand. Come on now. We are well on time. Well on time. Just raise your hand. Come on, take a minute and just give God thanks for something. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, right where you are. You don't have to be a member to praise God. Hallelujah. 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 We, we magnify you. We thank you. We adore you. Oh, we glorify hallelujah. you. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Touch your daughter. Lord. She bore that plane. We thank you, Lord. Pray for coverage. We thank Grant you, Lord. her a safe flight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, man, talk to him in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, yes. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Mm, as you return to your seat, I know the peace speaker. I know. says when he says be, be still. yes you have to another time I know oh I know
chose the way. raise that hand and worship him come on worship him I feel God in this place I feel God in this place mm. hallelujah praise God you may be seated for a moment as I sat down and discuss this special seminar with the married men I told the leader, I said, not only the Christian men should be here, but I want our sisters and whose husbands are not Christians, we want them to be here. He said to me, Pastor, that is about 120, possible 150. What are you going to do? He said, in Jesus' word, according to the Bible, 500 penny worth of bread can't take care of them. So I said, I'll make a bold move today. I support the ladies. I'm going to ask the ladies to support the men's agenda. I'm going to ask you for an offering to help us to offset this initiative to minister to the men and not to send them home hungry. So I'm going to sow my first seed, uh, set the example. And I'm going to ask you, everybody, you gave already. Please look. Ladies, I work on your behalf when your time came the other day. I want you to help us. Brothers, not because the ladies are going to help us. See if you find something in that billfold. And come. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. I know nurse would be here. Come. Yes, we take. We take other currencies. Come in the name of the Lord. Come in the name of the Lord. Did you see how the men are were handsome? Did you see how the men were looking sharp on the choir? I want the choir to be doubled. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. God bless you. Whatsoever the Lord laid on your heart, come in the name of the Lord. So you send your husband to us, they will not return to you hungry. Amen. But their stomach will be filled. Praise the Lord. Look at the ladies as they give. Look at them. Come. Whatever the Lord bless you with small as it is come praise God and for the onlineers you're free to contribute go to the go to YouTube just let it be known there it is towards the men's seminar amen 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you Yes, yes. He controls the winds and waves. When he Stand with me, everybody, with your belongings.
Father, how much we love you. And we give you thanks for your mercies towards us. We give you thanks for this offering that is raised, O oh God, for your kingdom on earth. Sanctified. Praise God, every giver who gave, and pour out a blessing upon such. Let there be testimony on top of testimonies. Father, there are those who gave. There are needs standing before them like Mount Everest. I pray that, Lord, you will so minister to your people. Lord, your word, your servant said, I was young. Now I'm old. We've never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor the seed begging bread. Bless it, I pray sanctified to your cause let it bear fruit in the name of jesus lord i pray for nadine dennis who will be leaving the island will you touch right now will you cover will you grant a safe flight favor at custom and let it be well in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As we are about to go. Pray that you will journey with us. Cover every person. Let nothing befall us. Lord I commend every soul to your hand now. In Jesus name. The Lord bless you and keep you. And be gracious unto you. Cause his face to shine on you. The Lord lift up the light of his everlasting countenance upon you and give you peace and rest till he comes. We all say, and everybody say, please, before you head through the door, shake at least seven persons' hands. Amen. God, shake. We have too many visitors in the place for you not to shake your hands. God bless you for coming. <laughs>